Over at the State House today, state leaders showing their support for an executive budget request for maternal and infant mortality programs. News 19's Shelley Garzone has the details. According to Children's Trust of South Carolina, less than 10% of eligible families in the state receive voluntary home visit services. I spoke with the mother today who says this program changed her life. A lot of things um, I needed financial assistance with, for example, and they had opportunity where you applied for a scholarship. So I did my essay and I was able to get funds for my schooling, which helped me a, a whole lot. Jaya Robinson is a mother who participated in a home visiting program and after three years is now helping mothers who are in the same position she was in. Because I experienced certain things, I know what to expect and how to help them. So I, you know, let them know that being a living experience, I'm like, you can get through it. It's going to be okay. Home visiting programs help mothers with health concerns, child development tips, and even school preparedness. Families can be referred by an obstetrician and gynecologist, social worker, or even self-referred. I tell moms this, you're not just getting a nurse today, you're getting a social worker that's available to you, you're getting a lactation consultant that's available to you, you're getting financial resources that we provide. So. Anyone can learn and anybody can benefit. According to a recent report by the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, infant mortality rates increased 12% from 2020 to 2021. With the program expansion, Children's Trust hopes to decrease this number. If the General Assembly makes a financial investment of $250,000 to Children's Trust for the purpose of home visiting, that money will be matched three to one by the federal government. With this funding, Children Trust says they are ready to serve more communities across the state. Through our network of qualified and experienced providers, we currently reach 39 counties and they are ready to expand this proven prevention strategy to work with for more families in South Carolina. Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX.